It's a little bit of a minimal effort day. Didn't feel like really doing hair and makeup. This is yesterday's. There's some crusty hairspray in there. That's a good look. I just spent the last 24 hours completely cleaning my room. I have never felt so cleansed. I ripped out my entire closet, reorganized it, put it all back in there. I have so much clothing. But I did. I swept. I dusted. I watered my plants, I fed my animals, I cleaned my animals' cages, I did all the things. It just feels so good. But I got excited about it and I feel really good about it, so I figured I would show you around a little bit. It's a new place, it's a new room, so here's a little tour of my happy place. I woke up late again For the first time in a while Don't feel wrong or lazy yet. Doesn't feel like standing child You were married in the morning Or at least that's what I heard Another man in California To feel your touch and hear your words Was it just a lesson? Was it in my mind? Thought that I was the exception And I thought you were the one But I was just the first one waiting in line When we finally got settled I couldn't feel my toes Drove right up the middle. It's just uncomfortably close to my face. I love it in here. This is my absolute happy place, like completely and utterly. I come here and I'm just like, <sighs> I originally, when I moved here, I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna do white walls. I just want, you know, very clean. But my housemate, who lives here too, uh, he painted them blue and I was at first I was like really upset about it and I was like no I wanted white walls it's not gonna go with my aesthetic I was kind of heartbroken but then on moving day I brought all my stuff in I had all my lovely wooden furniture and all my pillows and my rug and my bedding and everything and it actually fit together like so nicely I fell in love with it absolutely and I like the blue better than the white it's more warm it's not so like bleak and hospital-like. My old room was very like eclectic and cozy and boho. You know, I had all my tapestries and my rugs and my pillows and it was very like orange and red and brown and black and I loved that. I loved having the coziness. But when I moved here, I realized, you know, I have these bright big windows and I didn't want my room to be so much of a cave <laughs> as I think it was at my old place. It was very much like a like a den, like I was hiding, and, you know, as much as I spend time in my room doing nothing all day, I didn't want it to be like this creepy dungeon that I would hide out in all the time. I wanted it to be like a really peaceful, like bright, happy environment. It's funny, you can tell an introvert and an extrovert very much by their bedrooms because I feel like extroverts have more bleak and simple bedrooms because they don't spend a lot of time in their bedrooms. Whereas introverts, we live in them. I'm like deep diving into the 
implications of a bedroom here. That's not quite what I'm trying to do. But I do think it's important to have a place that's very much calming to you and like a good place to come to at the end of the day and just kind of relax and it's nice and I'm so happy with it. And I need to stop buying little knickknacks. Like I bought that whaling poster and I was just like, okay, Peyton, you just bought a one gallon whiskey bottle and a whaling poster. You need to calm down. I don't think I'll ever stop getting little knickknacks. I love it. I just love having little stories and everything because people always ask, they're like, what's that from? Where'd you get that? Why do you have a coin from Aruba? And I'm just like, hey friend, here's a fun story. My room is just full of icebreakers. It's a bomb shelter full of icebreakers. That is the title for this video. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my life and I will see you soon. Or not, we'll see. <laughs>